Mount Etna's volcanic activity increased significantly again in the winter of 2026, marking the beginning of a year of pronounced geological activity on the Italian island of Sicily. Europe's most active volcano exhibited persistent lava flows, steady seismic activity, and structural failure on one side. The main lava flow is reported to remain active and to continue moving in the eastern sector of Mount Etna, particularly in the Valle del Bove area. The lava field has reached an elevation of approximately 1,420 meters above sea level. With the current flow front identified east of the Raca Musar promontory on the northern wall of Valle del Bove. According to reports from the local Volcanological Observatory, the lava flow has reached approximately 2.8 kilometers in length. This indicates that magma supply from the volcano's internal system continues. However, it has not shown an extreme surge in explosive energy. However, scientists' primary concern now is the gradual but significant collapse of part of the volcano's flank. In early January 2026, monitoring instruments detected rapid deformation on Etna's northeastern slope followed by a large volcanic avalanche into the Valle del Bove. This flank collapse is thought to have been triggered by a combination of magma pressure from below, the accumulation of unstable lava material, and extreme winter conditions. Low temperatures, heavy snow, and meltwater infiltration have weakened the slope's internal structure. Experts refer to this phenomenon as flank instability, a geological process that has long been a concern at Mount Etna. The volcano is known to be slowly sliding toward the Mediterranean Sea, and the latest collapse heightens concerns about the potential for a larger slope failure. In addition to lava flows and slope collapses, surveillance cameras also recorded weak Strombolian activity in the Voragin crater in the early morning hours. This small eruption was accompanied by light ash emissions that quickly spread and settled around the summit area. The ash emissions did not reach altitudes that would endanger aviation. Still, they indicate that Etna's magmatic system remains active and dynamic. Activity in the Voragine crater is often interpreted as a signal of pressure changes at shallow depths. Unfortunately, the adverse weather conditions currently enveloping the mountain's summit limit direct visual observations. Thick fog, snowfall, and strong winds obscure the summit area, necessitating that monitoring rely heavily on remote instrument data. From a seismic perspective, the average amplitude of volcanic tremors is reported to remain within the normal to moderate range. No pronounced spikes that typically precede large explosive eruptions have been detected, although small fluctuations have been observed. However, scientists emphasize that relative seismic stability does not necessarily imply low risk. In the case of Mount Etna, flank collapse can occur without significant seismic activity, influenced by mechanical and gravitational processes.
Debris falling into Valle del Bove adds to the volume of existing deposits, potentially altering the paths of future lava flows. These morphological changes could increase the risk to areas previously considered relatively safe. Local authorities continue to raise the alert status and warn the public and climbers to stay away from danger zones, especially in the eastern and northeastern sectors of the mountain. Winter increases risks, including snow avalanches that may be mixed with volcanic material. Mount Etna with its long history of eruptions and structural deformation, once again demonstrates that volcanic threats don't always come in the form of massive explosions. Slow but massive collapses of the volcano's flanks can pose an equally serious threat. As 2026 begins, Etna serves as a reminder that volcanic activity is a complex process involving magma, rock structure, climate, and time. Scientists are now closely monitoring every small change, as beneath its relative calm, this giant volcano still holds the potential for major surprises.